Okay, this video we are going to see how to uh, generate a binding from a C program to for Rust. So uh, suppose we have a C program, C header file, and we need to convert that to a Rust uh, binding. So that is what we are trying to uh, do now. Um, so let's start with a new project. Uh, cargo new um, us binding bind gen. We begin bind gen. Uh, we have created a new project and let's see so let's see let's see we can okay, open that one yep so definitely we need to add our build dependency as uh, Bind gen. So let's do that first. Build dependencies. Then two. Yeah. So this is the version we are going to use. Apart from that, you can just mention. We need to write uh, build dot arrows to so we are doing a build dot arrows okay so this is what we need to do in the uh, cargo dot toml and next thing we want to do is we need to create a build dot arrows I think we have I uh, have created a video regarding this uh, how to create a build dot arrows but uh, yeah, we can uh, we can try it again. Build dot rs. So the thing is, when cargo build, um, it will go through this build dot rs and uh, create our build files. So for that, uh, let's create a main program. And we have to do some compiler directives. So first thing is um, cargo rc link that is our uh, default path. I have taken from the uh, sample program from the Rust uh, book, I believe. Uh, yeah. Next thing, what we want to do is cargo uh, link we can. Give it as um, Rust Bind Gen Sample. And um, another directive what we need to give us whenever any change in the um, C program, we need to uh, rerun it. So for that, uh, we need to keep uh, changed well sample dot h yeah I think we have done uh, most of our uh, uh, compile directives 
So next thing what we need to give is we need to pull the bindings. So this is pretty standard. Uh, we have to use the bind gen. So bind gen builder default and we need to give the header as wrapper.h and we can also give a parse callbacks as binds in callback so whenever uh, any changes happens in this it will recompile and it will generate the dot generate will generate the bindings so i think that's all uh, we have for uh, bindings next thing what we need to give us we need to specify the output path where we want to see the uh, bind gen uh, created uh, rust program so i'm just giving the default out directory and that will be a default library um, so then uh, bindings dot write to file out path it will uh, create the binding dot rs file there so path buff is missing we can quickly fix it from this and end is missing let's quickly fix that too import standard env I think our uh, build dot r is also fine now. Uh, I think next thing is we need to create uh, be given the wrapper dot h. Now we need to create the wrapper dot h. So let's create uh, the C program header file uh, wrapper dot h. And what we are giving here is just a cool include include full dot h full dot h that is our wrapper dot h now we need to create the cool dot h so cool dot h uh, I'm just giving as minimal C types so let's type def struct full struct in x and in Y and cool struct. So we are re re renaming it as cool struct. So uh, and I want to define a function too. It's a void function in C and the old function and it get three parameters. Let's see. Cool struct yeah now let's see if we compile this what will happen so Darko build uh, some error error unknown type include type include is it here include here include here Submit bindings. Cool dot RS. Oh, yes. Wrap. Wrapper. Wrapper dot H. 
to unknown type name load. So let's uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, what did I do? Yeah, include. Yeah, it's hash include. Hash include. Let's see what will happen now. It's building, but some linking problem. Some linking problem. Okay. Uh, let's create. Um, a main dot address where what we are doing is um, we are asking to include include that bind dot arts so for that we need to concatenate it for the the out directory out call directory comma slash binding dot rs i hope that works two parameters binding uh, yeah this looks good this looks good let's see what will happen now in this uh Thinking problem. problem problem is with this cargo leaving this 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 thing. change wrapper dot h hmm. yeah basically yeah we don't need to keep this i have added uh, the main dot rs where i included the binding dot rs and i'm using the cool struct that we have in the school.hc file so this is basically c header file and we are importing it uh, in the rest program but uh, where we have this uh, so when i run this cargo build it's basically uh, creating the binding dot rs so we actually given as our default path so that will be uh, debug build and this bind in sample out so it's going to be here binding dot rs so this is the respective uh, corresponding rust program uh, our uh, bind gen has created so we have the cool struct here and we can pass integer and we can use it so this is the way uh, we can use bind gen for converting rust program to c program to rust so having said that let's look at um, another one where i have imported the web view uh, what is web view web view is uh, let me open a browser right. yeah. uh, web view first so already uh, we have a lot of uh, crates created for this binding but uh, let's look at uh, 
open up this let's look at actual web view So web view is basically you can write uh, HTML JavaScript uh, screens and create a desktop application it will yeah you don't need to use a browser to uh, open the application instead uh, you can use your uh, web view application itself it will open in that uh, window so yeah this is the web view yeah it's basically written in C and you can see webview.h and yeah and that is what mainly we need so what i did here is i just um did the same thing as we have done before um i just copied that webview.h here and webview.c that is this exact same file mm it's so oh, this is i think it's um it's uh web view first so the view first uh, i'm just following web view dot uh, sys so this is one of the implementation I'm just following the same uh, webview.h and webview.c. Where did I get that? Hmm. I don't know where did I get that. Okay, I think it's not required. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see how we will build this. Uh, I think you can ignore this time being. Uh, I think I copied this same thing right here. Uh, probably not Coco. Because it should be. It should be this file, I believe. It's not one. It's not one. Okay, just uh, leave it uh, for now uh, now I just want to demonstrate how to build this and, uh, so let's go to the build.rs so the same thing what you have done before and this is exactly the same exactly the same no difference this is also exactly the same no difference this here we have two means Now, if you build, if you do the cargo build, uh, there are some issues. Yeah, and I modified our main dot a little bit. This is same as our previous example. But here, uh, this is, so when I build this, not sure why it is failing this now, but usually it will, if it goes normal, it will create the binding dot rs. And we can see that this is the function we need to use for creating the web view new object. So I'm just using that here and only thing is since these functions are using pointers we need to use unsafe block and i'm just creating the parameters to pass this okay i think uh that's all i have to uh, mention in this video thank you for watching this video